All right, guys. Uh, I what I plan to do in this video is I want to show you how to create package. Okay. In Java, right? And we gonna use Notepad, right? And compile on CMD. Okay. Now we want to do this because we want to see uh, what is the behavior of uh, structure, right? So of the file folder. <coughs> so I just start to put the comments on here. So this is the purpose of this program here, right? What we want to do. Now when you want to create package, you pretty much first line is gonna say package, right? Okay. Um you want to just create a package name. Okay. We we like to it's just like the path on the URL but it's just another way around. We go with the bigger unit first, which is the education and NVCC, right? And then the class. Okay. And all local cases. So now <coughs> public class. Let's name uh, demo and public statics void mean. Now you may see when we use Notepad, it's pretty much just ah, uh, it's no suggestions, right? You have to type things from scratch. Um, let me just make it simple first by just do system out, right? Now, this is a key that we want to look at. Okay, right. So let's say I'm going to save this. When you save this, make sure you switch to the all files. That is not attaching .txt because we try to do .java. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Create a new folder. Say Java. All right. Inside this folder. Class name and file name supposed to be the same, right? Demo.java, that's my class name. <coughs> Alright, so my demo.java is ready. Now, I want to explore to my desktop a little bit the location I have my file right there. So it's only demo.java, right? So this is Java file, let's type Java file. So now we start to compile this and I want you to start to notice the behaviors is going to change on inside this folder with the package now included, right? So we have to do CD to the location which is desktop where I have my Java, demo.java save which is in my Java. I can do DIR to sh make sure that I see it right there, demo.java. <clears throat> Alright, so now, of course, uh, if you type Java C now, you may see it's going to say it's not recognized because the command is not the DOS command. You need to set the path, right? So we're going to set the path to where your JDK is. It's going to be under C program file Java. If you don't have JDK, you need to download that. Just Google download JDK. Okay. Now under bin, this is where Java C is located. <coughs> so we go set the path. Make sure there's no spaces. Okay, between the equal signs here. So we set the path. Now if you type Java C again, there you go. It's going to be different now. First, it's not recognized. Now it's recognized. It's just looking for the arguments, which we supposed to provide what is the arguments, right? In in <coughs> in Java, you see these are the arguments. You see that? Yeah. So arguments at the console. Now for this one, Java C looking for the class name 
or the Java file, right? Which is demo dot Java as the arguments. So it's going to compile. There's no errors. So let's look at what happens when I put the packages, right? Go to desktop and Java. So it's create demo dot class, right? Right here. Okay. Now if we try to run demo, could not find or load. Okay, so <coughs> this may be something to deal with the packages. Okay, so let's investigate that. What happens? So we said this is the path, right? But when I try to run, I'm running into this Java, right? So they don't really see where it is. If you're comparing back to the way that Eclipse does, Eclipse just do all the things for you. Then you don't have to worry about problems like this that we just see. So let's go to the same version that we have on Eclipse, right? We when we create the packages, right? So we're going to browse to that location. Let me open another folder side by side. The files colors source. It happened to create the edu and vcc csc two hundred one for you, right? Which this one didn't do that, right? And when you go back, when you compile in Eclipse, it's going to put in bin edu and vcc CSS dot class. You see that the structure is different because Eclipse taking care of that. Right, but if you do this manually, you have to do it manually too because you do it from scratch by from Notepad, right? So we gonna fix this then. Like since we said package is here, right? So now let's see if I commenting out a package first. Like let's say no package, right? So let's recompile first if. To make sure that the problem is not a package, right? See that? Then you see hello class. So the problem is it cannot find it because the path is different, right? The package is the issue, right? So sometimes you may run into that problem. Now you understand how to fix the problem. That's why it's good to know, right? What's going wrong by using Notepad here that you learn. How do we fix this then? We need to pretty much just create the folder for it, right? So I but this one has to be done manually because you don't use IDE, right? Not integrated development environment. This is from scratch, not that, right? So I need to manually create a path, five folders and store that in. And then put new again folder and CSC two oh one, right? Now, when I save my, I'm going to have to save my files in that location. By, I'm going to use my package now, and get inside this path, right? And make sure if you use Notepad, switch to all files. Then it's not going to print .txt at the end. So I have demo .java right there. Then when you compile, of course you have to go to the same location, right? Which is uh, edu, right? Cd change directory to nvcc, cd to csc two o one, right? Now dir, you see demo right there. Java compile demo dot Java, right? So there's no issue, no errors report. So we're gonna run it. <coughs> hmm. Java demo. So let's do R. So we have demo in there. So let's double check. Edu spelling is correct, right? NVCC.
sysg201 and now we have system. All right, so the problem is when you run, you're supposed to provide the, like for example, this one on Stack Overflow said you have to package one and a class name test. So when you run, you have to do Java one dot test like that, right? So let's try that. So switch back to this again. Of course, I need to make sure I'm going to be in out of the package folder, right? <clears throat> Which is I'm going to delete this file irm demo asterisk uh, rm dash r. Oh, this is for Unix. I think delete is for CMD. Asterisk. There you go. So dar. I don't have that anymore. So, I mean, what I just did, I just uh, removed those two files from, let me show you in the photo view, see that, before I have demo.class and .java, I removed them, because I created a package for them in here, right? But to run this, to run this, you, you have to run it outside of the package path, which is at Java which is at this point, right? And then you need to type Java, which is the run command, and the package name, edu.nbcc, and then go to csc201, right? And dot class name, which is demo. And then hello class, that's how you run it when you deal with a package. Like, you don't have to worry about any of this when you just Eclipse, okay? Like clips, you can just, I have the package, it's create all the path for you, the folders for you, right? And when you run, it's taking care of that, just pick Java application, and you just see the output on the console, right? If I bring the console view up. <coughs> ah, I didn't have any things to show, so let's say system.out.print. Hello. Right, right there. But on the CMD, this is like from scratch manually, right? So that's why it's just a little bit.